Hi everyone, today I will be demonstrating you how you can visualize a knowledge graph that you have created using LLM and which you might be using for graph rag. So let's get started. So I won't be jumping onto the codes for knowledge graph creation that I've already explained in my previous video. You can check out the knowledge graph creation using Langchain. So I will be just briefing through that and our major focus would be on how to visualize it. So just pip install all these libraries as you can see the different version of Langchain. Google Gen AI if you are using the LLM from the free API key and Langchain Core JSON Repair. The most important one will be Network X in this particular tutorial. We are setting up the LLM using Google Generative AI and setting up this text. So we will be creating a knowledge graph on this text on Marie Curie using the LLM graph transformer and using the function convert to graph documents we are creating a knowledge graph. If you wish to understand it in depth you can check out my previous video. Now comes the real part for this video. I would be saving the relationship formed from graph document filtered into a data frame where we have columns node 1, node 2 and relationship as you can see. So this is the actual knowledge graph that has been created by the LLM using Langchain. Marie Curie 1867 born in occupation awarded Nobel Prize. Now using this data frame we would be visualizing a knowledge graph. So for this we would be using the network x library which is a net, uh, graph analytics library in python you need to create a nx.die graph that is a directed graph object which we will store in g and add different edges so we would be reading each row one by one and adding the node one node two and relationship in this particular edge so an edge has three components the two nodes and the relationship which would be the name of the edge for now now the rest of the part is quite easy to understand. You just need to set up a layout for the image. Get edge attributes that is the, the name of the edge that the relationship names that would be coming and then set the size of the matplotlib bar. Now then we need to do nx.draw. So this is the most important code snippet in this use case. We are passing the graph object, the knowledge graph that we have created using network x where we have added the nodes position that is the lay, layout object as you can see this one and then other things are more towards formatting with labels node color node size edge color etc in the next part we are adding the network x edge labels also so in the first part we have added the nodes the next part we are adding the edge labels so edge labels as we have already get it from got it from the nx.get edge attributes as you can see here we are passing that font color is red we are giving it a title graph visualization and plt.show. So this is how the graph looks like in this particular case. As you can see the graph this is the knowledge graph that we have created using LLM. This looks quite fine and I think now you can extend the demonstration for building your graph rack QHN as well as explained in the previous video. Thank you so much. Hope you are able to understand how to visualize knowledge graphs created using LLMs. Thank you. Graph Rack Crash Course is out now which includes all the codes, a theory ebook and link to the video tutorials. So check out the link for the course in the description below. Thank